Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures. My name's Jolyon and we have another Sunday preview for you. 21st of July, 2024. Is this going to be potentially the penultimate Sunday preview video that we do? Are we going to get to streaming from the new studio at some point? I certainly hope so. Anyway, let's get into it. So, the Warhammer Age of Sigmar starter sets arrive. The new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar is here. And to dip your toe, you can pick up one of the many new starter products coming out next week. For those who want a similar but no less savage game, new releases for Warcry are sure to satiate your hunger. Okie dokie. Now, as, as far as I know, these are pretty good deals, especially for building, army building, etc. Especially if you have a friend who's interested in the other half. I do seem to think in the, hit, in the past, they have been a good deal. Now, let's see if they're a good deal now. So we have the introductory set here. Start your journey into Warhammer Age of Sigmar with the introductory set, which is designed to give you a taste of the Warhammer hobby. It contains five Stormcast Eternal Liberators, 20 Skaven Clan Rats, all of which push off the frame and fit together without glue or clippers. Paint them up with the six paints and starter brush included in the box, using the 48-page handbook for guidance. The set also includes gameplay tutorials showing you how to use the playing mat, range ruler and six dice to get a handle on the basics it is the ideal gift for anyone who has an interest in the exciting world of warhammer age of sigmar okay then all right all right let's move on to the starter set for people who know their way around tabletop games the starter set contains everything you need you get 35 push fit miniatures you'll need clippers for these a lord veritant with griff crow Three Prosecutors and five Liberators for the Stormcast Eternals, who are arrayed against a Grey Seer, a Warplock Engineer, three Rat Ogres, and 20 Clan Rats. The 64-page Starter Set Handbook introduces you to the vast Mortal Realms and provides tutorials on the basics of gameplay and four battles to test your skills. With a double-sided gaming mat, two Range Rulers, two Rules Reference Sheets, and ten dice, you've got everything you need to get started in the box. Indeed you do. And we have the ultimate set right here. Get the complete Warhammer Age of Sigmar experience with the ultimate starter set, which contains two complete spearhead armies and all the rules and accessories you need to play this lightning fast and tactical new game format. The Vigilant Brotherhood is led by Lord Vigilant on Griffstalker, who runs the units from the standard starter set, while the Northeast Claw Pack contains a Claw Lord on Norbeast. 144 page small format Spearhead Fire and Jade book contains the rules for this new mode and complete war scrolls for every Spearhead you can currently buy. This set also contains the double sided Spearheaded board themed around Aquishi and Giran, two battle tactics and twist decks, plus terrain and three and six inch clip together range rulers. On top of that, you'll get a 72 page handbook that runs you through a series of tutorials. Two range rulers, two rules reference sheets, and ten dice. Okay, that is uh, quite the comprehensive box set. Very interesting. Also, some scenery as well. I don't know if that was actually listed. I've already forgotten it. Let's have a look. Scroll down. We've got the Stormcast Eternals paint set and the Skaven paint set. If you're excited to try out this building and painting aspects of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. These two paint sets, which include miniatures and paints, are the perfect way to get started. Stormcast Eternal's paint set contains three push fit liberators, a Citadel starter brush, and six 12 mil pots of paints. Retributor armor, Cantal blue, Corax white, Lead Belcher, Agrax, and Astro granite. Skaven set paint consists of five push fit clan rats, a Citadel starter brush, six 12 mil pots of paint, Born Red, Rakarth Flesh, Steel Legion Drab, Lead Belcher, Agrax, and Astro granite. Okay, interesting. Scroll down again. We have the Warhammer Age of Sigmar paint and tool set right here. You have your eye on the starter set or ultimate starter set and also want the paints and tools you need to get hobbying right away. Then this paint and tool set has the goods. It contains a pair of Citadel starter set clippers, a starter brush, and a mold line scraper, plus 13 12 mil pots of paint. And then all those paint lost lists of paint right there. Yeah, we do have a couple of extra. We do have, uh, what is that? One extra paint added? Because they've two extra paints, surely. Because they've doubled up on the Astro Granite and Agrax Earthshade right there. So they must have had 
They must have added an extra color in. They added in the yellow uh, and wah flesh. Because otherwise they would have doubled up on that. Okay, that's interesting. Let's scroll down. To getting started with Warhammer Age of Sigma. This 88 page getting started magazine is the ideal way to learn about the Mortal Realms and the wider Warhammer Age of Sigma hobby. It comes with two push fit miniatures, which don't need clippers or glue, a liberator and a clan rat, both with scenic bases. Very interesting. I see they got Warcry, Briar and Bone, and Bony Boys and some Woody Boys. It's a life and death battle in the Nullwood as a Teratic cohort attempt to harvest the bone tithe from these warp strewn wilds. Coming face to face with the warped and tortured twist wheeled in Warcry, Briar and Bone, alongside these two new warbands, this contains a new ravening Narlok scenery piece, a changed tree that can gulp down fighters hull, a 64 page softback war band tome briar and bone, bit of a mouthful there, 12 fighter cards, 3 ability cards, 3 divider cards and 42 battle plan cards. So that is I assume the train chained down tree right there which does look uh, <sighs> trying to be charitable here. It looks like a thing. I don't know Anyway, it's a bit of scenery. Mm, yes, it's a bit of scenery. Let's have a let's have a look down here. We've got the uh, the Ossiarch Bone Reapers who have failed Nagash may be reformed into lower constructs. These uh, Terratic cohorts are tailor made to efficiently track down and hunt down their foes in an effort to redeem their shame. The Sylvanath, known as the Twistwheel, are riddled with terrible parasitic plants that drive them mad with rage torn between spreading their seeds to new hosts and purging all infections from the Gnarlwood. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So they're sort of like, uh, they're almost nurgly. Anyway, we got the, uh, the thingamajiggle river blades right here. Luminef Realm Lords draw much of their power from the element. Spirits of Hish, butchering words. Again, drawing on their power and teachings to excel in battle. The river blades are sworn to be to the waters as fast and persistent as the driving currents their movements fluid and graceful this standalone warband of 10 multi-part plastic miniatures previously only available in the war cry pyre and flood box set is a swift force that excels in counter attacks and repositioning and comes with a fighter cards and ability card you need to help them purify the tributaries of the Narwood. okay good stuff and we have the pyre geists for those who attempted to preserve the souls of the dead with sacred fires and blessed unguents, Nagash devised a cruel punishment, an afterlife as pyrgeists consumed by eternal balefire. They now seek to torment those who try to deny the great grand necromancer his due, keeping the braziers of Nagashizar alight with mortal flesh and soul matter. A standalone warband of eight multi-part plastic bits, previously only available in the Pyre and Flood box set, Immolates their surroundings and foes with roaring balefire and comes with the fighter cards and ability cards you need to set fire to all those who oppose Nagash. All right, okay. I'd look the old ones. Oh, hello. Oh, well, I mean, straight off the bat, this is this has caught my eye. This is rather cool. I don't know if it's particularly the paint job in particular. I think I've said this about all of the Seraphon scenery, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have liked all of their scenery. This could be very easily sort of 40 k ified or indeed Horus, Her Horus heresy ified Potentially, it could be almost sort of Necronified or whatever. I really like this paint job. They've done a cracking job on it. And so far, this is the only thing I've seen which I've really got me interested, particularly in this week, anything this week. The Seraphon Temple ship, Eye of Kotek, was co covered in immaculately carved statues that are now scattered across the Nullwood. Started with valuable jewels and powerful arcane devices that double as sentry weapons that scour their foes with beams of burning energy, there are handy platforms for athletic fighters to scurry atop and excellent additions to your collection of Warcry scenery. Okay, then. Then we have Black Library stuff. Lioness of the Parch. Talia Vidra is a talented warrior, a ruthless mercenary and champion of Hammerhall, but when the Chaos Warlord Morsalus Ebonpire crushes a well-defended citadel, she is thrown into unfamiliar territory. Politics. Now she must find common ground with old rivals and become averse 
in the political machinations in order to orchestrate a favourable showdown with Eben Pyre, who seems to be one step ahead of her at all times. Lioness of the Parch by Evan Dickin will be available to pre-order in hardback, ebook, and audiobook formats. And we can scroll down to old Black Talon herself. Five powerful champions of chaos have discovered the existence of a long-buried weapon with incredible power and have plans to use it. After being sent a troubling vision of her latest quarry by Sigma himself, Neve Black Talon and a hand-picked team of Stormcast Eternals must hunt them down to save the mortal, mortal realms. The mortal, mortal realms? How many mortal? Anyway, Black Talon by Leon, Leanne Merciel will be available to pre-order in paperback format next week. Okay, then. Got Shroud of Night. Kassar and the Unsung, his elite band of Alpha Legionaries, plan to infiltrate the hive world of... Sadreka. <laughs> Sorry. Their mission is to steal a beacon being fought over by ravening warbands of heretic Astartes, who have been lured by its ability to hold the darkness of the Noctis Eterna at bay. Their plans are complicated by the arrival of Khan the Betrayer, who is mustering a mighty army to take the planet for himself in an apocalyptic assault. Shroud of Night by Andy Clark is available to pre-order in audiobook format next week. Okay then, so that is uh, that could be an interesting one. Lots of heretic Astartes, lots of naughty boys. World Eaters I do get very tempted by every so often. I think I will be getting a small band of them together, but obviously I've got to work on my Death Guard first. And then also, actually recently, I did find my... <laughs> I did actually find my Iron Warriors in a box recently so potentially i don't know anyway let's let's have a look at let's, let's scroll up to the top so out of interest what has caught people's eyes this week i did get necromunda at least ordered it this weekend it was a bit of a pricey purchase but i had actually got some sort of vouchers lying around which sort of took it down to a reasonable value for me if i hadn't had those vouchers lying around for ages then i probably might have not purchased it but um it did make things doable, let's just say. But out of this week, I don't think there's a huge amount. There's that bit of scenery, but I don't like Age of Sigma isn't really isn't really my thing. But as I understand it, now I have not I don't have access to the maths or prices yet, but I do know that in the past, as I said earlier, these introductory sets are a quite a good deal, especially if you can find someone who's interested in the other half. It's even more of a deal. Otherwise, you know, dreaded eBay or whatnot. I think probably the starter set right here is a potential option. This one here is also very tempting because it has, uh, you know, a couple of larger characters on sort of monsters. Uh, there's a lot more stuff available in here to get you up and running. Potentially, depending on the prices, I might be able to get one of these just so I can do a bit of Age of Sigmar content for this channel. I think beyond, I don't think, I can't see myself getting the ultimate starter set, but I do want that, gr I do want the engineer, and I do want this grace here. Um, combined with some of these, it could, uh, it could be a, a move towards actually finishing and starting my Skaven army for Age of Sigma that I've had lying around since time immemorial. As for the paints, I definitely won't be getting these. I've obviously, I've got many, many paints already. I do need to go through each and every one of them, make sure they're actually still viable. I wouldn't say these are particularly like bad kits in themselves. I didn't realize necessarily that they were classing a, well, they call it a technical paint, uh, or they basically dumped some sand or whatnot into some paint, um, to, so you get a textured base. I would um and ah about it, and I'm, these brushes of dubious quality, but they'll get you up and running. I would um, potentially have to revisit this, this particular section of this video in a future video. Uh, hopefully I can remember to do that and talk about clippers, etc. And just things to get you up and running. Either way, some interesting things this weekend coming up. Potentially use my Element Games link. It should be in the video description below. It is an affiliate link, so I do earn a tiny smidgen of money. If you decide to make a purchase using uh, that link, as in the UK, obviously, uh, GW stuff, but they will send other stuff all around the world if you are interested. Do consider liking, subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I don't want to keep banging on about it. Um, <laughs> we are still waiting on that last window 
I am hoping it goes in this week. That's the only thing stopping me really from getting back into streaming and making like painting videos again. That my whole studio, the back window was also supposed to get a double glazed bit installed, but unfortunately it appears that the wrong side, wrong size, excuse me, was ordered. There's been a bit of a mix up, so that's going to have to wait another four weeks. It is a bit of a disaster, but I'm hoping it's going to be like a bit of a le less disaster and we'll be back to painting and able to record stuff soon as possible and back to 3d printing that's all i got to say i hope you have a great rest of your weekend i will see you in the next video thank you and goodbye